What is going on, everybody? Hello, hello, it hello. It is Pixel Partners here, and we are back with Phoenix Wright. Yes. When we left off, we spent a long time investigating, got a little bit of info, but I've been mostly listening like, to this nowhere. dramatic music for a while, and it's intense. I like it. I like the soundtrack. It is very good. It is. So uh, we have to try and uh, have to try and go find the boy Mia again. right now. You're right. I've got to go find that kid again. Oh. Uh oh, Jesus Christ! She's, uh, she's off the deep end at the main gate. What you got to say? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Whipper snapper! She has been chasing that boy this whole oh time. Oh my god! When, when I ca catch him, I sounds like she hasn't <laughs> had any luck catching him. I, I got a hostage now, whipper snapper. A hostage? <laughs> Camera, maybe? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, what happened to the boy? Yeah. If I see him uh, again, I'll uh, lay him flat. Uh. Whoa. Well, then I guess she's going to be helping us this <laughs> <Yeah>. whole time. <laughs> My, what a violent old lady. You're right. I guess she's just going with us this time. All right. <laughs> Actually, I just met with the director just now. Eh? Uh, uh, My heart. I don't feel so good. Oh, God. Is she okay? <laughs> she is old. <laughs> Before I'd go, I'd like to visit the place where poor Hammer died. <laughs> right. She was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. Okay, I guess we're going to go to the studio. <laughs> What's this about a hostage? Hey, when, when that boy was running away, he dropped this uh, and ran. Uh, he, he, he'll come back. Uh, for this one. It's kind of hard to understand <laughs> her with all that huffing and puffing and blowing that house down. <laughs> I'm getting lightheaded from doing that. <laughs> Careful. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we give him that. Good idea. Mr. No! Bag, my, oh. I'm catching that brat if it's the last thing I do. Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? A trade, huh? Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I wonder. <laughs> Do I have anything I can? Holographic trade Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, huh? It's like don't no, scratch that. Sell it. Uh, <laughs> the the ka, the key. Uh, sleeping pill. <laughs> I doubt that. Um. Um. I can try presenting her with the key and be like, hey, we found this, but we'll give it to you if you give us that, uh, huh. camera. The soul bag? I'm borrowing this, just so you know. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, just, just be sure to uh, give it b back. Uh. She says that's amazing, but she's exhausted. <laughs> I guess that's not what we're gonna do. Okay, never mind. We've got the whole monkey's head. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Bring this to court. Man, present this. This is the witness. It's like, hey, you want my attorney badge? Ook, ook, ook. <laughs> oh God. <sighs> she's too busy catching her breath to tell me anything. <sighs> okay, I've got to go. I've got to go find something. Should I? Should I? You can go ahead and yeah. try and pull it up. I'm going to go ahead and look. I'm going to check the employee area. See if I can find any. Oh. oh. <laughs> Probably going to find the kid here. I'm like, I want my camera. Yep, there he is. Hey. He has it. And, uh, hey, hey, you. Wait wait a second. Hmm. Phoenix? Was that the boy? Yeah. His name's Cody Hackins. I think he ran into the dressing room. Okay. I'll go follow him in there. What's up, dog? Sup, sup, G. Sup, Kenny G. Did he finish the snacks? He's sure to be in here somewhere. All of a sudden, just Found kicks you. you in the crotch. No. <laughs> Damn it! He's getting away. Come back. Hmm. There, he's back. How does she? Ugh. Hey there. Would you mind helping us out, please? Yeah. 
<laughs> Hi, I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Faye. You got nice boobs. Uh, nice to meet you. Yo! And I'm Phoenix Wright. Oh! Who asked? <laughs> he wants those boobs. <laughs> Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. <laughs> In other words, I'm not so sure I have the boobs <sighs> for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about the Steel Samurai. The Steel Samurai is so cool. I think he's the uh, the bomb. <laughs> Hello, fellow. <laughs> <laughs> what would a lamer like you know about the Steel Samurai? <laughs> fellow kids. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, fellow kids. How do you do? That's exactly what Phoenix just did. <laughs> hey, watch the attitude. Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell like that. Like, I, don't yell like that. I'm only a kid. There's no, like, punctuation there, so I got yeah. real fucking confused. All right, what happened? Say anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing. Mm. Huh. Looks like a little persuasion is necessary. Maybe a bribe? I need the... I need whatever he dropped. But I need to find something to give to... Frickin' frackin'... Lady. Oh. oh god, even he's going on about the samurai boogie. You don't know about samurai boogie woogie? You're even lamer than I thought. Why does everybody but me know about the show? <laughs> Cause Phoenix, you're lame. <laughs> Alright, I need to find something useful. You got that thing pulled up yet? So I can find Well, I put it away because we were like, oh, there's the key. Sorry. Um Examine. Maybe you want a piece of T-bone steak. Nope, that's already been searched. Uh, All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe move to the main gate. Maybe move okay. over here to outside studio one. Huh? Maybe move on over. Oh, we have to present the card key to her. The card key? To the old lady. Oh, because she wants to go see the yeah. murder. Okay, that makes sense. That she makes sense. She straight up told us. I forgot that I had the card key, so I just... <laughs> Alright, there you go. We're doing stuff out of order again! I'm so lost. Alright, here we go. <laughs> hey, that... Huh, that's a card. S Studio One. Right. A card key to Studio One. Uh, uh, I, I could visit the poor hammer. I'd like to... To visit her. He, he died, her... Huh? I was his... his fan. You don't have your own card, Miss Old Bag? Studio One is at my turf. Eh, you... you let me bar 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 it then. If I give her the card key, then I won't be able to get in Studio One. Um, so I guess... Uh, lend her the card key? Uh, lend her the card key. Okay. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? But only if I get what your thing is in turn. I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Old Bag. Car key lent to Miss Old Bag. Mm. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having debts to no whippersnappers. You take this, and we're even, deal. What's this? A Steel Samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it. I feel it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. I may have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. Yeah. Apparently they're really popular with kids these days. Of course they are. Right. I'm off. There she goes, hobbling off towards the studio. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, that, mm, the birds. Now we go back to, to All right. the kid. Now, in the dressing room. And see, now we were I'm supposed to see him you. and then be able to do that here now. Yes, that's not my fault, I'm dumb. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Cody, this look familiar? Hey, my you are! You are? Uh -huh. Ultra rare! You are, you know, <laughs> ultra rare? That card gets really hard to get! I know that from Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> of course. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. <laughs> I'll give you this, if you help me. But that's my card! By offering me something I already own, you're in effect... ...eschewing the very basics of our consumer society. Eschewing. the principle of fair trade. <laughs> fuck it. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. What the fuck? <laughs> Why do they teach kids in school these days? Quantum physics? Yes. 
Time Whatever. travel? <laughs> Whatever, I don't need that card. Huh? I got a double. <laughs> Just keep it. It's yours. What? After I went through all that trouble. If you want to trade, find me a really rare card. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are way rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on! Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. Jesus. Premium rare. Why do I feel like we're still talking about steaks? <laughs> um. You know what this kid sounds like? What? <laughs> like a young Damien. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> Ten year old Damien. Yeah. Don't tell me he wouldn't <coughs> be just like that freaking brat. I guess. <laughs> um. Except he would fun. like. He Kid, would, you want sleeping pills? I'll he, fucking put he, your ass to sleep. <laughs> Except he wouldn't threaten you with the sword. He'd actually he'd like hit you. <laughs> yeah. Now what do I do? The kid doesn't want the fucking cards. He, he also he also sounds like a like a combination between Damien and Sonic. <laughs> yeah. He's like that weird <laughs> middle ground. <laughs> All right, I uh I need help. I don't know what to do anymore. He doesn't want okay. the cards. <laughs> I got the cards for nothing. The heart of the cards. Uh, maybe I can go sneak up to Studio One and talk to Miss Oldbag and be like, "Hey, can, can, do you have any rare cards, or do I need to go to, like to the fucking like detention center and see if Will Pres Powers has any the cards?" Present card to Cody. Move to trailer employee area Studio Main Gate outside Studio One outside Studio Two trailer. All right, so I need to go to the trailer. God damn it! Go talk to Miss. <laughs> Sup, Chief. Yep. Hi. Oh, hey, it's That's her. who we need to talk to. Oh, hi. Hello. What brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um. Yeah? The, um, girl with you, doesn't she seem a little different? Um. Like, is she even the same person as before? Uh, nope. She is the same as always. Same as always. Okay. Okay, whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the fanboy. Have you seen that boy since then? Nope. You missed it, though. The security lady was chasing around after the boy so fast I thought she'd collapse. Ah, she pretty much did. Of course, he got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old one back doing? She was squeezing donuts through her clenched fist back at the guard station. <laughs> Some people take their jobs a little too seriously. Alright, Mr. Hammer. Are all the posters on the wall here of Hammer? Yes, it's a really a terrible loss for the studios. But his popularity had been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happened... After what happened? It, you mean, you don't know about Hammer? What, did he hammer on the producer? You know what I'm saying? No, what? Uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. No, 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 no. You ain't getting away that easy. Wait, now you have to tell me. What happened with him? Do you see this shiny thing? I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one who should tell you. Uh-oh. Why do I get the feeling something's being covered up here? Because something's being covered up here! I feel like... I feel like I need to, I actually, this is now when I go to the detention center and go be like, Hey, yeah, uh, Will, we need to talk. You hiding something from me, dog? Hmm. You two have something oh, going on? Oh, we shouldn't have left. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm going back. I'm going back in. Uh, Show her the card. The Steel Samurai uh, card. Oh, uh, okay. Whatever you say. Do you know anything about this? Hey, that's the Steel Samurai trading card. I collect those, actually. <gasps> Gimme, do you have an ultra premium? I'm one card away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Huh. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait! That's it? That's the card I need! You don't know how long I've been looking for it! Uh... I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am, I need that card. P please, I beg you, please trade with me! Trade with you. Yes, trade cards. Look, I'll even trade you an ultra rare premium card. A deal. <laughs> trade me it. Uh, what? Yes, it's a good deal for your ultra rare. Please. Phoenix, 
Can't you see she's desperate? <laughs> yeah, I'm desperate for those boobs. I mean, I mean, what's 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 everybody getting? What's so excited about? Trey, I like how you. Didn't... I wonder if Mia liked it. like. <laughs> What? <laughs> I think you missed my comment, but what? Like, oh no, I heard. Oh. I just ignored it. Okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> Thanks. And then this is for you. You PR card added to the card record. You are premium steel samurai collectible. Very, very valuable. Yahoo! And there she goes. Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah. Yeah, it does. All right, now I'm going to go on and the move. Didn't Maya say something like that once? I think so. When they broke down the the, 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 the great thing? I think so. All right. Uh, uh, now uh, back uh, to the kid. Uh, employee area, and then move back in. There's so much See, moving. how would we possibly know to do that without a walkthrough? Just going everywhere and spending <laughs> even more time than we already have in this That's game. why I looked, and I'm like, wait, we got to make sure we're not doing this. Because like, when I was like, I got a walkthrough that took like 14 and a half hours, that was someone that was doing everything like to the point, not speaking, and I was like, oh, yeah. God, this is going to take us so long. This is going to be the rest of our life for playing this goddamn game. Present. Okay. Yep, yep. I forgot I was doing. Hey, you, kid. Look at this. I got what you need. <laughs> See this card? Yes. Wait. That's it. <laughs> That's the last ultra rare premium card I need. <laughs> Come on, give it to me, please. You gotta give it to me. <laughs> no, I've never seen him so <laughs> eager. He looks like he... <laughs> right. Okay. How about a trade? You're on. Oh boy! I'll give you a steel samurai. I'll give you a, a samurai spear and throw it in an evil magistrate to boot. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no! Not that kind of trade. I don't want cards. I want information. Huh? You sure? Fine by me. He's like, oh, I guess I keep my cards. All right, give the card to the kid. Okay, Phoenix. Let's hear what he has to say. Okay, boobs. I mean, Mia. <sighs> he hasn't changed. If you know something that could help us, we can have him take the stand tomorrow. You're right. Poor kid. All right, mm -hmm. you. We need to talk. We need to chit chat. Steel Samurai. So, you like the Steel Samurai? He's so cool. Kakoi. <laughs> I, I guess. You're judging him by his looks. You have to look at his actions, at his life. Oh boy. I'm being lectured on life by a grade schooler. <laughs> yes. You like him too, don't you? Uh. Oh, me? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I love the Steel Samurai. So, tell me what your favorite thing this about, about Steel Samurai is. Uh, uh, his fighting skills, yeah. obviously. <laughs> Gotta think of something. I like it when he, uh, he vanquishes his foes. Yeah, with Sam! <laughs> the Steel Samurai always wins. Always! Check this out. It's my fan album. What, what the? It's all pictures of Steel Samurai. That's cute. I go to every live performance. Those stupid Jose stunts where they beat each other up in public. <laughs> I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. What Sam? <laughs> I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Check it out. My new digital camera. Wow, that's very impressive. Newest model, isn't it? I feel like a fucking Funimation actor right now. I was gonna say, you're <laughs> really into this. You bet, lady. I got it for my birthday. <laughs> my album has a name. Want to hear it? The Steel Samurai. Path to Glory. <laughs> the Steel Samurai always wins. Always. <laughs> hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took these with the digital camera. I got all the data at home, so I can always make another one. Well, then I'm happy to accept. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I motorboat you? Uh, what? <laughs> What's the people always giving stuff to Mia? And talking what about her life? boobs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, you were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Uh. Cody... Uh. Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Justice! <laughs> Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? You have to help us fight for great justice, too. I... I saw... I saw everything. Well, well, we might get some useful information out of him yet. What did you see, buddy? We need information. What? Cody, I need to ask you something very important. You were going to say something? What you see? What you see? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did you see on the day of the incident? Uh, 
I got here that day around two. Okay. I had to come in through the woods out back so that old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost, though. <laughs> I was in there for maybe a half hour or so. Jesus. Then I finally got to the studio. After that... What is it, Cody? The, the steel samurai killed the bad guy. He used a samurai spear. Just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast. I, I got scared. I went home after that. I, I see. It must have been hard on you. Man, you, you say those nice things, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Uh, right. <laughs> Mia? Yes? I think we say for sure this means a steel samurai did it. True <clears throat> enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So, the only person left who it could have been is Will Powers. Hmm. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him then. I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Uh, Is this gumshoe? Not well, so fa- Probably, yeah. <laughs> not so fast, pal. Yep. <laughs> All I have to say is pal, and you've got yeah, my heart. Yeah. I heard everything. Fuck. This boy here is a key witness. Fuck. And he's on a police protection starting now. Uh, Come on, son. Uh, you've got a rendezvous with me down at the precinct. No, I ain't going. Wah! Uh, that didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. Oh, what are we going to do, Mia? Well, hmm. I really need to be going. <laughs> no, this is bad timing. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> Come to the trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. I need you. Phoenix. In so many ways. Phoenix. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? I... I believe. I believe. <laughs> of course he is. Hmm. That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. We always have to believe they're innocent no matter what. Yep, remember that's what she said yep. to us. Great. Thanks, Mia. See you soon. To be continued. Ooh. Not yet, motherfuckers. We ain't going nowhere. This Grand is getting intense. Be. Yep. Now time for another day of fucking trial. <laughs> another day of fucking. <laughs> another day of fucking. Ain't that right, Mia? <laughs> oh my god, stop. Why did I even say anything? <laughs> Alright. God, this is gonna be long. We still. I think we still got another day of investigation because we still haven't highlighted that fence area. So this mm. day of court still isn't going to be the end. Yeah, because that, gotta fucking like, prove why, this kid why would they have a part of the fence be broken, you know? Like, there, there's I mean, every, for that. I mean, every detail's meant in this game. It really is. Mm -hmm. All right. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Um, <laughs> Mr. Wright. Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, no, nothing. <laughs> We're just screwed, is all. Really, it's nothing. <clears throat> right, Mia? <laughs> uh oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. She's right there. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. <laughs> You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. The only thing I have is a fucking pill bottle. <laughs> yeah. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, you should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. All I have is a pill bottle. And, and a photo book. It doesn't do me much, but that's what we got. Yeah. All right. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that... Or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. Nope. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Powers is going to die. <laughs> no, buddy. <laughs> All right. Courtroom number four, 10 a.m. God, how the hell? Hi, he's got boobs on our side. What? <laughs> okay. 
Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Hello, sexy. The defense is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> Hello, sassy. <laughs> God damn it. He is. I am pretty sassy. Very well. Mr. Sexy, your opening statement, please. Could you please stop? <laughs> Anyways. Never. An unexpected <laughs> fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I'll show evidence proving that they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. S Edgeworth. <laughs> oh, I wonder if it'll be that producer. The prosecution calls Mr. Salmonella to the stand. The director. Or, or that director. Or, or that director. Oh, God. His oh voice. <laughs> this is kind of fucking... Will the witness state his name and profession? I wonder what Ezra will think of him. Ugh. How rude can you get? <laughs> you don't know me. I'm the director. I make the steel samurai noob raffle. <laughs> He's... <laughs> Show me now. I'm a director. <laughs> All it took was that look. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Y yes, Your Honor. Mm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events that day. Phoenix, the judge can't talk. Let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. Uh, right. She doesn't waste any time putting it on the pressure. <laughs> I'm gonna look for some like time difference compared to what the lady said. Yeah, that's the, the, that's the, my number one thing to look for. The whole time evidence. thing was a huge yeah. like they really shoved that in our face. All right, so he's at studios from around nine that morning. <laughs> I was at the studio from around nine o'clock that morning. During the morning, I was doing. Uh, an action scene run through. Why is he sweating? Well, he's always sweating, so it's hard to tell. <laughs> You're right. It took a lot more time than I would have thought. I heard that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting in the studio trailer, so we ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4 o'clock. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Yeah, but he's like... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. All right. How many times have I said that? Um, a lot. And yes, Your Honor has also been said a lot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Steer us from around 9 that morning. Let's go ahead and press that and get a little more information. We should do a compilation of just cross-examinations <laughs> and yes, Your Honor's... God, that'd be, that'd be uh, by the end of this it's gonna be a ten hour video. That'd be after amazing. We play all three games. Is it is is that when you always come into work at nine? Oh no, I come in just all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. Mm. Yeah, I know all about the freaks in your industry. Still <laughs> oh. you know, FWIW is pretty busy all that. What day. does that mean? For what it's worth? Is oh. that it? Yeah, that's it. All How right. do you know that? I <laughs> I read just, it? I think so. I don't know, man. <laughs> Catfish. Tell us more about that. All in right, in and then, English, please. During the morning, I was doing an extra scene run through. Didn't they say no one else was there, though? Grin, they, they hid all this stuff from us still, so. Yeah. In the employee area? That's right. It was a fight scene between a steel samurai and the evil magistrate. Was anyone else at that run through? Oh, yeah. That security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing. She was cheering on hammer, if you can believe it. You, you, she you, certainly has the lungs for it. You missed his lol. <laughs> he said lol. Oh, fuck the lol, man. <laughs> Anyone else? Nope. Just got sure. Took a lot more time than I thought it would. Let's, let's see what you talk about when I say it takes a lot more time. Why did it go on so long? I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this. But there was be Chris's ankle during your one shoot, see? Alright, mm. that's limp. Which, of course, got me missing my lunch. Ross. What? Ross? I have no idea. Well, I know a four story. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. Isn't, isn't Rolling on the floor, starving. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what exactly did they have for lunch? 
Keyboard steak. The assistant cooks them up. So I'm thinking he's that. so gross. <laughs> there is a plate with some bones on it in the employee area. Whoa. Everyone else, meaning that the witness did not eat with them. He, got, he got really intense all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. And all everyone right. else was in red. Yeah. Which means it was important. So, in the end, you didn't go to eat? Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix. Yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Uh, uh, I mean, there's no fair thing. It, it's contradictory. Yeah, it does seem odd that he mentioned it. Mr. Manella. Uh, hey, hey. <laughs> what, what do you want? <laughs> when I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. And there were no bones. Mm -hmm. There were two plates. The same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? <laughs> oh. No, er, I... <laughs> Good call. <laughs> I, uh, I was embarrassed so I didn't mention it. But I did eat, after all. With Miss Butcherface. Ugh. T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought to the trainer thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I'd suspect as much. <laughs> so when exactly did you eat? He took one break during that meeting. I, uh, walked it down then. <laughs> but there were no bones. A mental image I will carry with me to my grave. Wait a second. They took a break in that meeting. That contradicts his testimony that no one got up in the stair. Yeah. No, no one got up that from, one a bit yep, more. Yep. He's like, oh, no one got up from their chairs. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Hold it. You didn't take a single break? Uh, well... Yeah, not a one. Yeah. <laughs> What's he sweating about so much, I wonder? If only I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Press harder. Yep. <gasps> Wait a second. Mr. Manila, you've just contradicted yourself. Mm -hmm. And only someone who's <laughs> lying does that. Yep. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate a T-bone steak during a break? Oop. <laughs> Raffle! Well? Um... Mr. Manila, what's this all about? Uh, w well, yeah, I guess yeah, I did take a little break. Phoenix, great job! If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor? I call the witness testify to the court about this break. Very well! Mr. Manila, your testimony, please! Yeah. <laughs> What's he laughing for? Uh-oh. Hedrith <laughs> is laughing. That's never good. That's never good. Why? No, he, He's got something up his sleeve. He knows about something in this break already. <clears throat> yeah, it's going like to be We took a break. Raffle. It was only 15 minutes. 15. That's only 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say, commit a murder in Studio 1. <laughs> I don't just have time to eat T-bone steak if you ask me. <laughs> Ew. That was a really short testimony. Mm, I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well. You may begin. <laughs> you may begin the cross examination. <laughs> and it's like I'm getting real tired of that saying. I kind of am. All right. <laughs> You're gonna deal with that a lot over the next I like know, you months. May <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you may begin the cross examination. The so break. It's a song. <laughs> you may begin the cross examination. <laughs> Alright, um. Not no much. No comments. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. It has a good bounce to it. Yeah. Alright, so. What time exactly did you check this break? Nah. I can't it was around 2 30 in front of show and sell 2 45. 2 30. Mm. That's the time of the death. I'm just tapping that in my own head. Yeah. So we could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. I guess it's possible time wise. Oh. Mm. He's keeping an eye on us. Yeah. Seems like that's the one they want me to press, but let me, uh, or present against, but mm -hmm. there's only 15 minutes. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T bone steak. What else? 
There were two plates on that table. Oh, right, there's only Diva's. Oh, sorry. Divasquez's plate. Divasquez. Ooh, the producer. Okay? A, little a little bit of gas came up. See a T-bone steak in 15 minutes. That's quite a feat. For real, like... I mean, I'm not surprised for him. True. All right, so... All right, so only these two. I guess I'll press these a little bit more, so... Now it's time to commit a murder. Why is that? Oh, he was waiting oh, for Jesus. that. Jesus. Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony at this point has been made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? <laughs> Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely weren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Mm. Where, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? Uh, Ooh. You got your thing up over there still? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trial. Because I'm feeling I claim it and claim it loud. Because going saying no, it's impossible, like, pretty much gets rid of everything that we have going for us. Because if we say no, it's impossible, then we're fucked. We've got nothing else. But they're making it seem like I can't press that. But there's got to be something there that pushes this. <laughs> say no, it's impossible? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Say no, it's impossible. Yep. All right. I don't want to write off so many possible suspects, but I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio in that time. <laughs> I thought you might be thoughtlessly threading on thin ice again. Threading? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> but I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True. The break in the trailer meeting came right in the center, right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey had buried. I thought it was Mr. Monkey. It is. Had barred the way. <laughs> Maybe it is a miss. I don't know. Can't assume genders anymore. <laughs> at around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. Ergo, he loves that word. When the people in the trailer took a break at 2:30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. <laughs> um, it's actually, it's actually Mr. Mr. Monkey, <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, but Edgeworth has a point, and somehow I feel no desire to correct him. <laughs> I believe we have seen enough evidence. <laughs> I would like to relieve Mr. Manila from the stand. What? It's over? Oh, shit. He has a ponytail. <laughs> yeah, of course he does. Very well, the court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in the studio, too, on the day of the murder. However, it's also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio One. They therefore have no relation to this case. <laughs> Furthermore, with regards to the photo of Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have won it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. Wait a minute. I just had a really interesting idea. What? All right, hear me out. Okay. Now, the judge did it. <laughs> there is going to be... Maybe there's some, there could be a murderer, but I think there obviously is, and I don't know what the start of it would have been, but I'm thinking for some reason, okay, Hammer, yeah, put on the Steel Samurai costume, really, and he went to Studio Two, where he got. In maybe like a fight with 
uh, the producer lady, and he fell, and, well, if it wasn't fatal when he fell, and he hit the spike and hurt himself, and then he was walking back to Studio One, maybe that's why he was limping across the camera, because mm-hmm. he was injured. I just realized that falling through that, and he probably it might have went right through his heart, and that's probably a fucking failure of a line. But that was my thought line of thought until I realized that that doesn't really work. No. Oops. Okay, never mind that one. Or I guess maybe covers, he maybe he hurt his foot on the fence. But no, we've got to go with the fact that the fence yeah. impaled him, and that's why there was no blood at the crime scene. Since he got stabbed. Because you can imagine getting stabbed. There's probably a lot of fucking blood somewhere. But there's no yeah. blood. All right. So. You uh, already read that. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor. The prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. The kid. The kid. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? That witness saw the very moment when the steel samurai skewered the victim. Everyone's like, oh shit, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Order, I will have order. Jesus, don't hurt your knee now. I see. I knee. <laughs> God damn it. The court will take a 10 minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. Smack. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. October 19th, 11.04, this is court. Defendant lobby number one. Jesus. Uh, well, we're going to hear about this fairly of a court proceeding next time. This is not going good, folks. It's so rigorous. <laughs> <laughs>